YouTube family, what's good? Devin on deck back with another beard update for you. The last time we talked about this, I just completed a 60 day challenge where I got my beard to come in just a little bit fuller than it had before. But as you know, for the guys who watched it, I started breaking out and had a few skin complications from that process. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what changed since last time, my current beard care routine, and what I plan on trying out in the future. Oh, I'm a pretty man. Oh, that's that ugly style. As a quick heads up, this video is brought to you in part by our sponsor, King C. Gillette, who plugged me with their entire beard care line for all skin types, all hair types, and there are a few things that really stood out to me that I want to show y'all. Okay, now starting with what has changed since the last video. I know I told you last time I wanted to grow my beard out, but I actually tried it and then stepped back and trimmed it again. So if you look at it right now, it's about the same length it was last time we talked about it. I think it's at like a three right now, and that's where I'm keeping it. It's just easier to maintain it looks better with my long hair on top and I'm just not ready to bring the waves back yet so I gotta pick one I can't do long hair and long beard and I've also stopped using the oil mix completely for the 60 days it did work well for me but for the guys that saw that video know that I broke out way too much it was clogging my pores up and on top of that y'all gave a lot of great alternatives to use that wouldn't clog my pores as much and we'll get into that later in the video but first let's go through my current routine so first things first I brush my beard of course and what I used to have to do is wait to go to my barber to trim my beard But now I have the new King C Gillette cordless trimmer and as you can see it's that brawn technology So, you know, it's legit and it comes with three interchangeable combs one for stubble one for really long beards That's adjustable and then one that I like to use for short beards And when I start I go with the five first on my cheeks going in a downward motion with the grain and Then I go a little bit lighter around my chin I don't try to go as hard with pressure because I want to kind of keep it a little bit fuller and then I adjust it to a three for my neck area because I like my neck to be just a little bit lighter than my sides to give it just a slight gradient going to my neck and then it's time for a beard wash but you know you gotta wet it first so it can really lather well and the King C Gillette beard and face wash has argan oil avocado oil coconut water in there so it's natural ingredients that are really good for your beard specifically so I don't have to just use regular shampoo like I used to and as you can see it lathers really well it's very easy to rinse out and after I felt like a minty like cool feeling I think it has like menthol in there so it just leaves that like fresh feeling on you when you finish using it and after I dry off instead of using the oil I used to use now I've been trying out this soft beard balm and the key word here is soft because if you ever use beard balms before they're usually super waxy they feel really thick they don't really work through your beard easily and this is more so like a deep conditioner it just goes in super easily you can brush it in leave it in all day or rinse it out whatever you want to do but for me I keep it in and that's my whole routine super easy simple takes less than five minutes and moving on to what I'll be trying out in the future I just got a few things in the mail from your suggestions in the comments of the last video you guys know I don't really have the ego when it comes to this fashion and grooming stuff I'm learning just like y'all so I pay attention to your comments I definitely look at what you suggest and I just got myself a derma roller 0.5 millimeter and I'll be using it here on my corners which you know are my trouble area I definitely want to get those to come in even fuller than they've come in recently they've made progress but I definitely want to close it up all the way if I can and I also got some biotin which is supposed to be an effective supplement for hair growth as well as peppermint oil which is supposed to be a lot friendlier for your skin a lot lighter than what I was using before and then of course there's the King C Gillette beard oil which has grapeseed oil in there avocado oil almond oil argan jojoba oil so many different natural ingredients in there so I got a lot to try out a lot to experiment with now before you get out of here I would love to hear how your beard progress is going I know since my last video a lot of you guys have been experimenting on beard growth as well So I would love to hear what things have been like for you drop a comment right now to let me know your experience If this video was at least interesting information for you make sure to give your guy a thumbs up It helps me out tremendously and if you haven't subbed here yet This is the only place on YouTube You're gonna find fashion content and tech content as well at the same time So you're gonna learn how to dress better and also how to take better outfit photos of the outfit you just put on It's a beautiful thing man all types of stuff like that brand building and confidence is like a great balance of both worlds so if that sounds good to you hit that sub button hit that bell icon and yeah i see you on the next one peace